Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you some exciting stuff regarding Sim, the new NA10 competitor. It's open source, it's free, and it has a lot of features that honestly anything should implement. So let's begin. Alright, so just log in right here and you'll be presented with this wait for it to load as you can see that's an old chat let's do a new one all right so the good thing about sim ai is this the copilot mode the copilot is just as it is it's a chatbot on the own documentation of sim ai so think uh, like uh, an extension instead of going like to glod and asking for an n workflow or how does this work or the code you have it all built in right here which is very nice very good so let's test it out all right i'm gonna use one of the suggestions so build and edit workflows all right and this will actually show us how it works all right it thinks all right it's ready to build the workflow it first checks my current workflow setup so it actually gets the current workflow and then it iterates on it if it exists if it does not it creates something brand new so look at it go so it already thinking it checked my workflow uh, it found nothing just a start of bra which is a trigger so it's going to do something new look at it go again thought explode available options it chooses blocks which are these which are basically nodes we'll get into them a bit later and look at it go all right so uh, let me read this so it actually uh, asked me to run it but it will not work because the model i don't have the api key and everything so it just told me what workflow is built you know created a simple clean right to use journal assistant agent we're gonna change this and test it out so uh yeah it did the job and let's test it out so i did operator so to change the model here all we have to do is just go here to the model write your preferred model since we're using operator so let me show you operator and scroll down until you found your preferred model all right so let me do that so I'm gonna use the operator GPT OS his 20B. I'm sorry you can't see it, but I chose it. Now to get the API key, go to operator, get your key. This will be your phone. By the way, if you don't know how to do your key, it's very simple. Just go operator, go to yours, keys, and then you will find it here. Create an API key, give it a name, create, and you're all set. All right, so let's go here and let's paste this. And I think it's about time to start testing it. So what does this actually do? All right, so it's a general assistant. And as we can see, the start of a block, which is a trigger, is chat. So where do we go? You might be confused like I was at the first time. It's simple, just go here, All right? Chat here. This is an old, clear it, and let's go. So uh, how to bake a chocolate cake? and it's in guys look at it it's actually respondent content you know that all of that stuff it's using the gpt os has 20 b free and yeah don't mind these these are all the executions i'll tell you a bit of a problem with this one all right but uh, so far so good of course you can expand on this uh, you can add more to it uh, i don't know whether to add honestly but as you can see the agent takes a workflow they executes it works on it does all the stuff all right so what's the problem you might be asking if we go to compile as you can see i have previous set all right so Let's go to the oldest one, which should be this one. So, at first it started alright, but then, as any chatbot, it hallucinates. It got things wrong, it didn't fix any issues that I was encountering. So, again, the, this copilot is a good step, but, you know, it's not perfect. So, just keep that in mind. You would always have to intervene. But the nice thing about it is that there are different modes. You know, and there are three modes, advanced, behemoth, depending on your subscription. And of course, there's agent mode and there's ask mode. I advise going with ask mode because, again, don't let the AI build all your work. Just you know, intervene yourself. All right. So uh, that's that. Other things to know. So actually, Sim does not use JSON. It uses YAML. If we go to 
deploy as API, you can deploy it as an API, as you might have uh, seen. So it's deploying. All right. Uh, you get an API endpoint for workflow, API key. You get the curl and everything, but uh, that's not the YAML I was talking about. So if we go, if we go to this, as you can see, we got more options. So you can publish this as a template, which will check the store later on. Of course, auto layout and this export as YAML. So this will be exported as YAML instead of JSON like an ATM. So depending on uh, your preference, you might like YAML, but I prefer JSON honestly. And of course, you can you can configure the notifications of webhooks. So a lot of options. Again, if you publish, you can publish it as an API or chat. You can give it a subdomain, chat title, the access control. A lot of options. So uh, that's good. Moving on, we got the block. The blocks are like the node. Well, they are the node. So we got the function, which is the code node. For example, rem it has remote code execution. So what does this mean is that it will execute the code in a sandbox environment. It can be very slow. Not very. It can be a bit slower. So that's uh, the uh, function. We got the API, you know, which is the HTTP request. You give it your URL and oops my uh, internet went a bit so give it a second ah it looks like it's gone ah well that's okay we saw the workflow <laughs> again the api is the hp request node from na10 you get the url the method the keys and all that jazz you know and so on and so forth the response the router you got air tables you got browser use which is actually pretty neat browser use basically is that uh, the agent can use your browser so it's uh, really uh, cool open it and has this you know not a community node because community nodes are a cheat sheet so we get a lot of stuff mcp tool it has everything well what else do we have we have these icons so first is the template store just like any 10 you have templates that other people made we see we have a russian one i don't know i'm kind of scared when i see a russian template it's probably like gonna steal my data that's a joke but as you can see we have a lot of templates you know some people just name it that this like come on guys be creative but just like anything, you make a template to put it here. You see marketing, and you see sales, finance, and a lot of other stuff. Next, you have knowledge. So when you create your agent, you can give them a knowledge base. So you create a knowledge base here, and that can be used on multiple agents. You don't have to create new ones every time. So that's cool. Of course, you got logs, you got the help, and finally, you get the settings. Now, in the settings is something that we need to actually care about. The copilot keys. What is the copilot keys? Well, the copilot key, when you generate it, you're going to use it. And you're going to use it in the self-hosted. So it's skipped into uh, the repo. So this is the repo for SimAI. Again, you can use it on the cloud just like any 10 Or you can use it self-hosted. Self-hosting is easy. Just npm studio. npx. I'm sorry. npx studio. Or if you want to use a docker, you can go with that. All right. But if you scroll down a bit, when you have your self-hosted if you want to access the copilot which uses the api key which has copied so just set copilot api key environment variable in your self to app sim and just paste the key which actually finally moves us to something i forgot to show but uh, it's no problem the variables you can create your own variables again this is an old key it got revoked and i'll add the variable and you can use it multiple times so uh yeah that's uh semi yeah. Oh, look, it's back. Ah, well, too late. But uh, yeah, that's an AI. Again, it's open source. It's free if you self-host it. And honestly, it's a good competitor. It has a lot of features like the browser use. It has the copilot that I would love and intend to implement. That would help us a lot. So yeah, any competition is good competition at this point. Will it overtake anything? 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, tech is a fickle thing and people uh, like different things. But I can see the uses of this. So uh, if you're intrigued, you can check it out. You can play with it. So uh, yeah, that about does it. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.